hello to you all once again you are welcome to today's tutorial lesson the last time we started looking at non-exact differential equation what we are going to do today is to be working on some examples as we didn't do so much in our previous lesson so from our definition we still remember a differential equation of the linear form as this then we can find the integrating factor expressing it in this form today i'm using i of x to represent my integrating factor if i have the differential equation of a standard form which is this then the most important thing is knowing what p of x is if i know p of x then i can also express the integrating factor as e exponent the integral of p of x dx so let's look at our first example it reads find the general solution of the differential equation at an initial value problem so this is our differential equation and from our previous uh, standard form of differential equation we realize that the coefficients of y which is p of x here is 1 so the integrating factor is going to give us e raised to the power x now after knowing what the integrating factor is what next we are saying multiply the integrating factor which is e of x by the differential equation so i multiply through by the differential equation and i'm getting e exponent x dy dx plus e exponent x y equal to e exponent x okay so the next step is is just a change you know subjects here so i just moved e of x to the other side making minus e of x what y so from there what do i do i want to express the differential equation in the linear form where i have m dx plus n dy to be equal to zero one thing about non-exact equation is we want to make it exact then we continue solving so now expressing it in this form i know what my m is so the whole of this becomes my m the, and this becomes what n so i have m to be equal to that and this is n now let's check if our differential equation now is exact so when you find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and that of n with respect to x you realize that the results are equal hence it's exact okay so now that we know our differential equation is exact we would want to solve so i can take any of the equation any of the functions i have either m the m part and integrate by with respect to x or you can do so for n and integrate with respect to what y so this is m with respect to x so you you express it and this is what i have you realize that the first part of our integral is the product of two functions so you have an exponential function a linear function and we know how to go about solving a product of two functions finding the integral so we are going to use integration by parts so of the objective of integration by parts is what finding your u and finding your dv so i know what my u is i choose a favorable u and a favorable dv to be equal to e of x so then when you solve this is where you arrive at so then here i can say if you have forgotten our integration by parts kindly do revision on that so then from here we just have to go back and do the substitution we already did. this was a integral equation so when you do the integration here this is what we are having if you integrate this side as well what do you get i mean you have this plus a certain constant i mean by this time the constant is a function of what y because you're integrating with respect to s our constant becomes a function of what y so let's say this whole thing 
it's now a function so we want to find the derivative of this function with respect to this y and equate it to what's n so if i find the derivative of this function with respect to y what do i have i have just this side because the derivative of y here is a constant so it will go to zero this part will also go to zero because we don't have any a uh, variable of y there so this is the only differentiation i'm doing which will give me what minus e of x plus this constant function if you find the derivative so the first derivative of y which is equal to n what is n in our previous lesson from here we know what n is so from here we know n is what's equal to what minus e exponent towards x so let me equate it to what e exponent x so if i want to find the derivative of y is going to be equal to what zero okay so now the question is i mean what variable do we find the first derivative and we always get zero it could only be a constant so we are saying that therefore that function we are looking for is a constant so that any time we differentiate a constant is then what's equal to zero so i mean we can now we know what the function c is so we can do the substitution here so now we have this plus c to be equal to what zero so now the general form of the solution will be in this form don't forget to when giving initial uh, values we said when y y is equal to two at x equal to what zero so we can do the substitution here what do we want to achieve at the end of the day we want to find a particular solution of this differential equation so you make x equal to zero when y is what also two so you do the substitution zero any number raised the power zero we know is what one so we have minus one here plus this constant c equal to this side is also going to give us one two therefore c is equal to what three now do the substitution of c into the general solution then we have what our particular solution very good i hope you take your time slowly to go through let's take our second example which is also very simple this is our differential equation we have initial value problem as well so here we still have p of x to be equal to one our differential equation is still e raised the power x we still do the uh, multiplication here then we have what this is what we have as well okay so then we can continue integrating with respect to x then we have our solution of this form so this is going to be a general solution now when you apply the initial value problem at x equal to zero we are saying y it's equal to one you can find your c to be one then finally do the substitution then your particular solution is going to give us y equals e exponent x i mean into brackets x plus one very good so i think we are all getting it and we are following the more you practice as i say will make you perfect so thank you for today and kindly stay home and stay safe so our next lesson thank you